One week after a storm left behind flooding on the South Shore, some communities are still cleaning up. News 12's Kevin VC joins us live from Freeport in one of the hardest hit areas. Kevin, good evening. Good evening, Joe. Yeah, and the flooding and extreme cold that followed really caused a lot of problems for people here in this Freeport neighborhood over the Christmas holiday weekend. Well, here we are going into the new year. The weather has changed, but people are still dealing with the aftermath of last week's weather. But they tell me that is not going to stop them from celebrating. This is what Angela Okike's Freeport home sounds like 24 hours a day. Dehumidifiers constantly running. After several pipes burst on Christmas, causing leaks all over. It's very inconveniencing, I have to say that. We've been stuck here since Christmas. We really can't go out because, you know, we have to deal with this. She's one of several people in Freeport still dealing with the effects of last week's monster storm. Susie Sheehan's garage is still muddy after it took on nearly a foot of water. Still cleaning up. Um, we have to bleach things, um, disinfect them, the floors, partially of the walls. The flooding was so severe, the mayor says dozens of vehicles had to be towed away throughout the village. We found someone desperately trying to fix his car after it was damaged by salt water. The owner too upset to speak with us. Meanwhile, Angela and Susie say they'll both be celebrating 2023, despite the difficult end to 2022. We enjoyed our Christmas and we'll enjoy our New Year's. We're still thankful that we're here. Yes, it's uncomfortable, but we're safe. So the whole family is safe. So that's all that matters. And what a great way to look at this, especially with her house practically being a construction zone right now. It's still not clear when that woman's home will be back to normal, though. Joe, of course, we hope that it happens soon.